In this video, we're going to be coding up an implementation in Python to test whether or not a binary search tree has this property called the BST property. So before we go on and actually code something up that does that, let's go ahead and define what this BST property is. So really, the BST property is just an inherent property that's present for any binary search tree. So it's just kind of by definition of the fact that it's a binary search tree. Specifically, the BST property states that every node on the right subtree of a binary search tree has to be larger than the current node, and every node on the left subtree has to be smaller than the current node. So that's really just kind of by definition what a binary search tree must satisfy. And this binary search tree property is a global property that every binary search tree must satisfy. So let's take a look at some examples to make this a bit more concrete. So here I have a couple trees, and the tree in green, or I should say the tree squared in green here, satisfies the BST property, namely that this node here, the contents on the left are less than this node, and the contents on the right are greater than this node. So for every binary search tree we have, if we have a node, everything on its left must be less, everything on its right must be greater. So all of these other trees, these are all the other permutation trees of this particular form that we can have, all of these fail the BST property. So all of the ones that are uh, squared off or highlighted in red fail to meet the BST property. So for instance, this tree right here, we have two on this node, three is not less than two, it's greater than two, so it doesn't need to be over here on the left, it should be over on the right. This tree over here, we have three over here, on the right of three is two, two is less than three, so it shouldn't be on the right of three, and so on. Uh, similar logic for the rest of these not satisfying the BST property. Let's take a look at some bigger examples because this is a little bit more of a subtle property as well. So if we take a look at these more developed trees, for instance, this tree right here is indeed a binary search tree. So eight, uh, to the left of eight we have three, that's less than eight, left of that we have one that's less than three and less than eight three here is less than eight and then to the right of that is six that's greater than three uh, let's see so we also have ten over here that's greater than eight to the left of that we have nine this is greater than ten also greater than eight this eleven to the right of ten greater than eight greater than ten so that's a valid binary search tree that satisfies this BST property let's take a look at these two other ones that don't satisfy this so let's take a look at why this one fails to meet it so the reason that this tree fails to meet the BST property is this node right here. So as we move down, 3 is less than 8, that's fine. If we go to the right of 3, the node to the right of it is a number that is that is less than 3. So it's less than this node here, and it's to the right of this of this node, so it fails the BST property check. So something that's a little bit more subtle is if we take a look at this example right here. So this example, we start off at 12. This subtree is okay. If we go down here, 3 is less than 12. That's all right, too. Now, if we go to the right of 3, we have 13. Now, that's fine for this node because 13 is indeed greater than 3. However, 13 is also greater than 12. So it doesn't belong on this side of the tree. It belongs over here somewhere. So this is a failure of the BSD property as well. So this is a little bit more tricky. And when you have to take this into account, uh, it becomes a little bit more difficult to figure out how you might actually try to code up something that would determine whether or not a tree has this property or not. So we're gonna go through an example and we're gonna code that up in Python uh, and we're gonna actually see if we can write a function that set that figures out if a, if a tree, if we're given a tree, if it satisfies this BST property. And I'm just going to elucidate a little bit of the approach now before we go over to the terminal to code this up. And the approach that we'll be using, and maybe before I say it, if you wanna try it for yourself and figure out how you can try to go about doing this, I encourage you to pause the video and try it yourself. I don't also encourage you to maybe check out the series on binary trees because there's going to be tactics in that series of videos that will be helpful for solving this particular problem. And, and note also that the way that I'm going to be solving this problem is not the only way to solve this problem. There are plenty of ways to solve this particular problem. So the way that we're going to go about solving it is by just doing essentially a, a checking and in-order traversal. So in order traversal, remember, if we do an in order traversal of this tree, it's essentially the same as just reading the nodes left to right. So we start off here, 1, 3, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now notice that this tree here was indeed a binary search tree. It's a valid binary search tree. And as we read off those numbers, the order of those numbers was in an ascending order. So we had 1, 3, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. So if we check either of these two trees over here, and if we try to do the same thing, namely if we try to do an in-order traversal, we will get 
a sequence of numbers that is not strictly ascending. So for instance, if we do one, three, two, eight, well, that's a violation right there. Two is uh, less than eight, or, or I should say three is greater than two, and that, and that follows three, so that's a violation right there. If we try to do the same thing on this tree over here, one, three, 13, 12, again, our violation is here. 13 is greater than 12, but it precedes it in that list of the in-order traversal. So essentially, if we have a valid binary search tree and it does indeed satisfy the properties of uh, the BST property, then if we do an in-order traversal, the nodes of that tree as we read them off should be in order. So the general idea is we're going to do an inner traversal and check if we have any violation of the sequential uh, sequence of numbers as we read them off in this traversal. So that is the approach, and that's what we'll get to coding up. All right, so I'm in the terminal right now, and I've opened up the previous file that we created in the initial binary search tree video where we covered search and insertion, and that video will be linked in this description. It's also part of this playlist, and the code that we'll be writing in this video will be available on my GitHub, and you can download that in the link that should also be in the description below as well. So I would encourage you to check out the series on binary trees where we discuss the various traversal methods for binary trees, as those will of course be applicable to binary search trees as well. And before we actually get started with coding up the, uh, essentially checking for the BST property, let's just go ahead and implement a in-order traversal and print out the order of the nodes uh, to, to verify that we actually get something that's in order. So what I've done already is I've created a binary search tree object from our class, and then I've inserted the nodes uh, with respect to the tree that was a valid binary search tree on the most recent slide that we saw. So that's just what this is here. So first let's go ahead and implement it in order traversal. So I'm just going to call this function in order, uh, let's call it one word, in order print tree. It'll take self since this will be a member of the class and then also it, uh, I guess that's all it will take. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check, first of all, if the root of the tree is, is none. Because if the root of the tree is none, there's nothing to print out. So if there is something there, so if self.root exists, then go ahead and what we'll do is we'll call a helper method, very similar to what we did for the find and insert methods. What we're going to do is we're going to say self.underscore in order underscore print tree. So this underscore preceding this function here of the same name is just helper method in the same flavor that we did before for find and insertion. So this function is going to take, it's going to take essentially a node. So I'm just going to pass it in self.root. So this is essentially an in-order traversal that's going to start off at the root and then go from there. So if that is the case, that will perform this helper function. So let's go ahead and write that. So def underscore in order print tree. It's going to take self since it's a member of the class and also the current node that we're looking at. And then again, if I'm going a little bit quickly here with this implementation, uh, I do cover these various traversal methods in the binary tree class, and there's no loss in generality with how those apply to a binary search tree. So if you want more details about how these traversal methods work with slides and everything like that, go ahead and consult that video. So I'm just going to go ahead and write down the uh, binary search tree or binary tree in order traversal. So basically we'll check the left node first. So we'll recursively call this function on the left node. And actually what we should do is we should check if current node exists first before we do any of this. So we should just make sure that current node is not null. We recursively check the left node or recursively call this function on the left node. We can print out, let's say, the string of the data element of the current node. So we'll say node.data. And then we'll also do the same thing, but now with the right. So I'll get rid of that print, change this to right. And that should be all we need for uh, the for the in-order traversal. So let's just go ahead, go down here, and just call that method to make sure that we get, in this case, the nodes ordered in a sequential fashion. So what we'll do is we'll say print uh, BST dot in order traversal or in order print tree. We'll write that and then let's just clear the terminal. Let's write this and say Python. Uh, it is called BST. Uh, actually, no, it's not called BST. It's called is BST satisfied. So let's go ahead and clear the terminal. And let's say Python is BST or BST property 
check. Let's just go ahead and run that. So we ran the in order traversal on the binary search tree that we do have, and we we notice here that one, three, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is printed out in a sequential fashion. So this is a valid binary search tree. So actually, let's just go ahead and run the inner traversal on a, on a tree that's not a binary search tree. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create, let's just call it tree, and I'm going to set this equal to BST. Now, what I'm going to do is I know I'm setting this equal to a ob, like an object. I'm creating the object from the binary search tree class, but I'm essentially not going to make use of this insert function. This insert function has the logic that puts in the nodes in the appropriate order to make it a valid binary search tree. So really all I'm doing is I'm just going to create a tree object based on this class, ignore the binary search property, and then just put in nodes kind of wherever I want them. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hard code the root. So I'm going to say the root is equal to, let's say, node of one. And then I'm going to say the roots left child is equal to node of two. And then let's say the root dot right is equal to node of three. So essentially what this is doing is it's creating a tree that kind of looks like this. The root node is one. And then the left child of that is going to be two. And then the right child of that is going to be three. So it's not a very good image of a tree, but this is essentially what this is representing here. And this is very much not a binary search tree. We have this node here, one to the left of that is two. Two is greater than one. It should not be in the left. So this fails to meet the binary search requirement. So let's just go ahead and do tree dot in order print. And then we'll go ahead and print this tree that we've just created, which again, despite the fact that I'm setting it equal to this object, created from the binary search tree class, or I'm created an object based on this class, it's not a binary search tree. I just want to make that clear. So I'm going to get rid of this beautiful tree, and I'm going to write that, and then I'm just going to clear the terminal again, and then we're going to write uh, and run this. So notice that we have our initial tree here, which was printed out sequentially, and this tree here was not. So 2, 1, 3, that's not in a sequential fashion. So that's just illustrating that this tree that does not satisfy that property for this at least specific example, this also can be extrapolated to other trees not satisfying this property. But this particular example of a tree does not print out sequentially. It is not a binary search tree. So we're going to write a function that is going to determine whether or not this BST property is satisfied. And really, it's going to kind of have the same flavor of what this in order print is doing. We're just going to want to check if the data that we're looking at it satisfies this property. So it's basically going to be in order traversal with some checks. So let's go ahead and write that up. So I'm going to call this function uh, is BST satisfied. And it'll take self since it's a member of the class. And then what we're going to do is just like we did for the in order print, we got to check if the root is none. So if the root is actually there, if it's not an empty tree, let's go ahead and set this variable, which we'll call is satisfied equal to self dot underscore is BST satisfied. And then, so this underscore method, just like we've seen for the previous three functions that we've done for binary search trees, this convention that we're using, at least in this series of videos, is we have some sort of a function, which is kind of the higher level function. And then this underscore function with the same name is sort of the helper function. And in all of these cases, we're making use of recursion kind of underneath the covers to hide some of the ugliness of the recursive calls. So that's what we're doing here as well. So what we're going to pass into this function, which we've yet to write, is initially the root. That's where we're going to start off. And then also the data held at the root. And we're going to continu continually update the node and the data as we move along in the tree. And then basically this thing we assume will return uh, something that will be either false or none. So if is satisfied is none, that's essentially going to be we didn't hit a false condition. And therefore, we know that this property is satisfied, so we'll return true. Otherwise, if it is none, then what we're going to do is we're just going to return false. We'll also return false in the case where the root is uh, just not there, uh, e even though, well, so if the root is not none, I guess we're also going to return false here. Uh, I guess realistically, we should probably just return false here and then otherwise return true because technically, I suppose an empty root is technically satisfying this property. So we'll return true if the root is none, and then we'll only return false if this property is violated from this recursive uh, helper function that we're going to be writing. So let's go ahead and write that function. So we'll say underscore is BST satisfied. It'll take self, and it's also going to take what we'll call the current node that it's looking at and the data of that node. And then what we're going to do is pretty much a very similar thing to what we saw with the in order traversal. So first, let's just 
assume that we're on a node and that what we want to do is we want to check the left and right nodes or the left and right children of that node. So let's focus on the left first. So first, let's go ahead and see if the left node is actually even there. So we'll say current node.left, if that exists, if it's not none, then go ahead and make the following check. If the data that we're given is greater than the, than the data held at the left child, so current node.left.data, then we're going to do something. So then we're going to make a recursive call because we don't have a violation. So what is going on here? So look at this initial call to this function. So we initially pass in the root and the data held in that root. So in this tree down here, for instance, that was a binary search tree, that would be eight, right? So the left child in that case of eight was uh, three. So three is the left child of eight. So we're checking, okay, is the left child not none? It's not in that case. Now, check is the data of the root, which is the data that's being passed into this function, is it greater than current node, uh, the left child of data? So basically is eight greater than three is what we're asking. Is the data of the root greater than the thing that's at the left, uh, the left child of the root in this case for the initial check? So if that is the case, we don't have a violation of the BST property for this particular case. So we're gonna go ahead and make our recursive call. So we're gonna say return self underscore is BST satisfied, and then we're going to pass in the current node dot left because we've processed the current node, which initially is the root, uh, but this could be any node. So assuming that the current node left exists, the data satisfies this property, go ahead and make a recursive call for the left node and then also for the data held of that node. So current node dot left dot data. So go ahead and make sure that we make that recursive call there. So we're gonna have a very similar check or I guess we should have an else statement as well here. So if this condition fails to be true, namely if we have a situation where we have the node eight and the left child of eight is like 10, which is greater than eight, then that is a violation of the BST property. And in that case, what we're gonna to wanna to do is return false. So we'll just return false if we get a violation of this check here. So we're gonna do a very similar thing for the right node. So we're gonna check if current node dot right, if that node actually exists, now, check if data is less than current node dot write dot data. So this is kind of checking the opposite thing. So basically, again, if we have a node that let's say has eight and we check to the right, if there is a node there, let's say the node is 10, it has the value 10, we're checking, okay, the node exists and it has the value 10 to the right of it. And also the value that we were checking on the initial node, which was eight is strictly less than the value to the right, which is 10 in this case. So that is valid. So we're gonna keep going and make our recursive call. So we're gonna say return self dot underscore is BST satisfied, is BST satisfied. And then we're gonna say current node dot right this time, and then the data of the right node. So current node dot right dot data. And then otherwise, just like before, if we get a violation of this property here, we're going to have a violation of the BST property. So that's essentially going to be a return false. So that should pretty much do it for that function. So let's go ahead and try to see if it correctly determines that this is a binary search tree and that this is just a regular old tree that does not satisfy that property. So let's go ahead and replace the name of this function with is BST satisfied and then we'll do the same thing here, is BST satisfied. Go ahead and write that, clear the terminal and then say Python uh, BST property check and then we get true and false. So that does indeed seem to work properly. So again, this was the valid binary search tree that returned true, which is correct. And then this one was just the regular old tree, which did not satisfy, not satisfy that property. Uh, and that returned false, which was what we expected. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. The code as always will be available on my GitHub. You can download that. Uh, the link will be in the description. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.